Hello everybody, Grace Steel Blaze, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. No time for BS. Let me ask you boys something. You like rocket launchers? Me too, but very first thing that we're gonna do is check this thing out here. This is made by the creator of the game. Every once in a while he pops into the Steam Workshop and puts together something cool. This is a excavator here that he had made, and if you ever wanted a lesson in a slight amount of frustration, Watch as Gray teaches you how to use the excavator. So, you ever pay? You ever played Quap before? Because we're about to play it right now. All right, here we go. So, very first thing we're gonna do is hit every single key on our entire keyboard. Now, how you want to do this is completely up to you. You want to use your your hands or maybe your nose or your face or something. All those work just fine. I think that there we go. Yep, we want to use the W A S D keys as well as the mouse as well as the up and down and left and right keys. Let me see if I can get there. We go. Once we get her lined up here, we have to use the uh, page up and down keys to open and close the <laughs> to open and close the claws. We're gonna get there, boys. Oh, we freaking got this. Hold on, gotta take. The out key off and just go forward a little bit. Oh, it's just like the crane game. It's just like the crane game. Yes. Okay, now I gotta tell you something. This is probably oh crap. Hold on. This is probably the first time I've ever picked this thing up on the first try. Come on, come on, baby. Just get it up off the ground so I can show YouTube. Yes. I've done it. I'm successful. Ah. <laughs> oh. Where was the, where was the explosive hidden at? How did this happen? It's like no matter what creation I use, no matter what creation I use, it ends up exploding. This wasn't even the rocket launchers and I blew everything up. Come on, man. Anyway, moving over to the actual things that are supposed to explode, the rocket launchers in the busy streets of the Soviet Union. We're gonna be putting up two big beastly vehicles against one another. We've got the ZIL-135, or ZIL-135. I tried to find out what the appropriate way to pronounce this was by looking to YouTube, and I couldn't find it in the first two minutes, so that was all the research I could do. This thing is really cool, though. Uh, as you can see right here, author is Joshua Ford. It looks like the original concept for the uh, just the platform of it was done by Nothing Cools. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. This is a big, this is a big old, big old vehicle here. Only 437 of the bricks though, so it doesn't go over, and look at this beast. Now this is a rocket on rails, and I messed around with it a little bit. It is very accurate. I am very happy with the accuracy level of this vehicle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this big guy on this side of the street. We're gonna have another rocket launch on the other side of the street, and we're gonna see who can take the beating. I don't know if either one of these things would be able to walk away from a from a full-out hit from a rocket, but let's go ahead and put this thing here. You know what? Real quick, let me show you guys how this thing fires. So what we do here is, oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's uh, let's go for some. Let's go for a long bomber here. That that tower right over there. All right, ready? I'm gonna go ahead and pull right up about here. Go ahead and throw the old parking brake on. Now watch this. Kind of put our our rail up in this way. Let me take another look here. Nope, we need to be over a little bit more. Right about. Oh, right about there, then we'll lift it up right about that looks good. All right, so once you're here we'll Go ahead and get into the uh, into the uh, the flea f the free floating camera. We're gonna disengage all of our couplings We're gonna hit the thruster and Off she goes and let me tell you something This thing is a straight shooter the rails idea was a fantastic idea Look at this thing go usually rockets and brick rigs go everywhere but this one is a direct hit, and it looks like we're gonna get a leveled building out of the deal. Let's go ahead and watch this beautiful monument of success fall to the ground. Oh, we got two buildings. We got three buildings out of the deal. All right. So the day has started off with a bang already. Let's go ahead and get out of the uh, out of the slow mo cam right here. Start off with a bang. Now we can just go ahead and regenerate this, like so. Now we have a fresh new 135. Let's go grab its contender. That's right, boys. Right over here, also from the Soviet Union, it is the Katyusha rocket launcher. This thing is done by Grouchy. Also, really cool concept here. Stayed under 500 bricks, which is awesome. Now this has three rockets on it, so I don't know. I don't know if we can count this as equal. Maybe we'll only use one of the rockets. Now the Katyusha, from what I've seen here, is a little less accurate, uh, but we get three tries. So we're gonna get 
the heavy accuracy from that 135 compared to the slightly less oh my god they're starting to bounce around boys the minute these rockets start bouncing around things usually go bad for gray all right let me go ahead and pull this thing up right about here now i'm not sure how well the katyusha is right about there okay well you know what we're going to regenerate it real quick by using the repair button so that it is like none of the none of the rockets are out of kilter there we go I don't know how good the 135 is at shooting things kind of ground level like this. Usually I've been shooting at buildings, but we're going to give it a shot. So for this baby, similar principle. We're going to go ahead and throw on the alternate button. Use the WSD keys to kind of move our rockets up here. In fact, I'm going to turn this off so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And uh, let's try one right about here. I think we're going to have to aim a little bit higher, but let's give this a shot. Here we go. First rocket away. Yep. We're going to have to cant this way the hell up. All right. So let's go way, maybe like that. Yeah, maybe that'll do it. Right about there. I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, boys. We're going to give this a shot. Though. All right, second rocket away. Oh, oh, man. Did we get a direct hit? Oh, yeah, direct hit. Oh, I should have friggin', uh, I should have uh, done it in slow-mo. Well, I'll make sure to do that next time. Some of you guys like to see the full speed stuff, though, as well. Will this thing still fire? Probably not. Um, hold on, let's take a look real quick. I'm kind of curious. Let's see if we can toggle the thruster. Oh, you can toggle the thruster, but it won't leave the rail because there's too much crap in the way. All right, man, the Katyusha got a direct hit, scored a direct hit on the second rocket. That's pretty damn good. All right, but we gotta let we gotta let the 135 have its time in the sun here. So let's give it a shot real quick. Staring down the barrel of a 135. This is why I didn't sing for a living. Although a lot of people say I shouldn't really do YouTube for a living either. Go ahead and aim this thing up now this is going to be a lot different because i have a feeling get it right about there now again this thing flies straight as an arrow the problem is is that the trajectory like really goes up there so i just canted this thing up a little bit let's give this a shot go let's go ahead and disengage this toggle the thruster or oh no oh things have gone sour right off the bat oh maybe not maybe it's not that bad oh maybe we'll hit it <laughs> I thought maybe it would drag on the ground and we would hit it. Okay, that was a that was a miss, but I'm gonna I'm gonna call that my bad. All right, here we go. We ramped it up just a little bit. Looks like it's right about online. Disengage all this crap here, and here we go. There she goes. All right, that looks pretty damn straight. Oh, it's gonna hit the ground just barely. Oh, I think it's gonna skate along though. I think it's gonna skate along. What is this? It still counts. That was a crazy ricochet shot from nowhere. Look at the full flip. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's sweet. Oh, the other rockets are flying out. Ooh, I kind of wonder if the other rockets are going to, like, blow up and take out all these buildings and stuff. Look at that. Yes. It is an absolute barrage of firepower and destruction all over the place. Wow. Okay, so these two vehicles can definitely take each other out. We got another, uh, we got another rocket launcher in the group, though. We're gonna have to give him his time in the sun, too. Oh, that was really cool. That was sweet. Wow. Now, I don't know if I would consider that luck or what, that it, like, banked off the ground. I, would a missile do that in real life? Do we have any, do we have any missile, missile techs or army folks or, uh, other people in the service out there that can let me know in the comments section? Is that, is that a thing? Like, is that even possible? Don't expect me to have that knowledge. That would be a really random piece of knowledge for me to have. I'd be here like, yeah, guys, you know, all the times I've fired rockets before, which is basically, uh, every Sunday I like to fire rockets off. I find that they bank off the ground really good. It's really straight. Now let's, all right, so let's try the other rocket launcher here. Here we have something from the big man himself, Trance, called the BKG Missile Truck. Now this thing has two missiles on it. Kind of an interesting concept. It's got like a little open flap that you have to open before you fire. Let's go ahead and bring this thing down here. Pretty similar. This is a, a 10 wheel drive vehicle, I guess. Um, whereas, oh crap, and I already broke part of it. Um, whereas the, uh, the 135 is an eight wheeled vehicle. If I remember correctly, yeah, it's a wheel. We'll go ahead and bring this kind of over here. This is going to be interesting. I probably should have gotten rid of the other vehicle. We're going to have to repair this as well before we fire. I don't want to kind of get my wheels on anything. Hold on, let me get the, let me get the rest of this set up. All right, here we are. I'm not going to remove that. I'm just going to leave it there. Well, what, this is a this is a reminder. Hold on, this is a reminder of what happens when you fail the rocket test. <laughs> Let's go back over here real quick. Now we got to get this thing lined up. 
So first things first, let's uh, let's kind of get in the cockpit here, take a little look. Now remember, with the out key, we're gonna go bring this rocket pad up, and then we're gonna aim right about there. We're gonna have to bring it up a little bit more though. Let's see here, we're gonna have to bring it like, maybe like that, I think. Maybe like that there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, no, I think it's still gonna hit, I think it's still gonna end up hitting the front. Uh, the up and down keys for this also work to kind of move it, although it's not quite as, uh, it's not quite as smooth as your, uh, your mouse. So here we're gonna use the S key to open up that flap right there. See how the flap kind of opened? Like that right there. All right, so right about here, we should be pretty well aimed up. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, boys, here we go. Let's go fire one of these thrusters to see if we can hit her. Here it goes. Take a look. Um, you know? We may have the arc right. I don't know. It may hit the ground though. Ah, oh, it's gonna need to be further on the ground. Oh, I think we're gonna have a building going on here though. Or not. Maybe it'll just ricochet off the building. That's cute. And spiraling off into the stratosphere it goes. Well, I guess that rocket was a dud. We're pretty close though. We're almost there. The only thing that we're gonna have to do is lower this slightly and pray to God that it doesn't hit the vehicle when we fire it off. All right, here we go. We're gonna fire the second one off. Oh, that was close. In fact, I think it kissed the vehicle. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh, it's skipping. Oh, it's starting to skip. And it is gone. All right, so that, uh... <laughs> well, I guess it did come into contact with something. Hold on, let's, let me try this. Let me try this one more time. Maybe that was just my own, well, I, I know it was my own incompetence. We gotta see if we can hit this thing. All right, here we go. I moved ourselves back a little bit here. This should do it, man. All right, here we go. Thruster away! Wow, that was, that was shallow. That, I don't even know if that's the right word for that. Whoa! And we have liftoff. Okay, so there, there's the first interspatial rocket and brick rigs. There it goes. <laughs> now, I know there have been plenty before. I think someone's probably reached the sun by now. One of the times we went off and we left the map, and we ended up seeing what that looked like. Um, okay, this needs to be higher uh, for sure. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll put it right about, try there. Right about there, maybe that'll be good. All right, let's try and, let's try and light this thing up. Come on, you're going down today, buddy. There we go. Again, the arc looks good. We're just not on center. Ooh, it like ran right into the side of the parking garage. That is really, really random. Wow, all kinds of parts are just flying off there. All right, one more, I, I gotta give this thing one more shot before we, before we call it a wash. All right, Trance, I'm gonna try and do you proud, brother. Here we go. Come on, get there. Well, that wasn't quite what I was shooting for. I think we just took out part of a building, but uh, some people would consider that a success. Last one, here we go. Okay, that is nowhere near where we need it to be. And that is another building shot. Man, those rockets hate that building over there. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, we might get a secondary hit. Oh, or we won't. Nope. The rocket is... The rocket is out of the map. It is. It's That's a home run, boys. That's a home run right there. The old grand slam. It's gone. All right, guys. This big behemoth isn't just going to sit around and take that. You know it. Let's go ahead and line on up here. Line on up. Right about there, I think, should do... Oh, crap. All right. Well, I just shot all my freaking calculations out the window. All right. Right about... There, I think, should do it. Yeah, maybe that may be a little high, but I think this is gonna get there. All right, here we go, boys. Ready? Got to fire back. We can't, we can't take that bull crap without, without some sort of, uh, some sort of punishment in turn. There she goes. All right, now again. Oh, this. Oh, wow. Okay, this is looking real good. Oh yeah, we're gonna go right up its grill, or not, or we'll skid along the ground again. Oh, never mind. Never mind, baby. And it is up in the air. Sorry, Trance. You have a fantastic missile machine, but uh, I gotta tell you something. When it comes to precision, this thing, this thing is, this thing is like a friggin' sniper rifle. It is the sniper rifle of rocket launchers. Wow. Um. All right, let's try it. Let's try one more thing real quick. All right, boys. Now, since we're talking rocket launchers and missile launchers, it wouldn't be right of me to do this. 
without trying out Virtus Beowulf again. This is more of the spray and pray model where, uh, where we fire everything we have at this and see if we hit. So let's give it a shot. Now for this, I typically like to slow things way down so I can fire it all in one go. Let's give this a go here. All right, here we go. And, ho! Oh, all right, get that one there, there. Oh, they're starting to go, boys. They're starting to go. Yes, yes. I think there's a couple more, like, down here or something. Yeah, we'll fire those ones, too. All right, missiles are off. I think we might be a little bit low, but you never know. Let's go ahead and follow them. Yeah, we're low. Crap. Um, okay, we're gonna give it another shot. Oh, maybe one of these will reach the mark with so many with so many shots I I gotta come pretty close right that was a close one right there You can see this building took a took a, a friggin a nail right there right in the coffin. It's still standing All right. Well good for you building Anything else floating around around here uh, a couple of a couple of the tubes are kind of going now and again Oh, no, is it did it catch on fire? Nope still good Okay, so we missed with just about everything there. Let's go. What in the, what in the world happened over here? What is this? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay, whoa. All right. Well, um, I think that the missiles kind of had a mind of their own there. Let's, um, let's see if we can repair this without blowing everything up and let's give it another shot. Oh boy. Oh, getting this thing back on the roadway is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, come on, get there. Get there, baby. Come on, foe treads and all. Oh, we got we got rockets and missiles coming out of the sides. That's bad. Let me tell you something. When you're driving around and you start running over your own rockets, that's a bad day right there. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. We're we're here. We just No, oh, no. We just need to use the repair button in a in a minute. In a little minute here. Okay, right there, right there, there. Okay, stop, repair. Okay, hopefully everything works out okay. It doesn't blow up when it, okay, good. So now that it has reconstituted itself, let's go ahead and slow things down. We're gonna speed things up to get the bounce out of the way. I don't know why that bounce happens there, if you remember. Uh, all right, let's see if we can, let's see. There we go, that's how we move it. We're gonna arc it up a little bit. Let's see, how's that look? Up a little bit more, right about, right about there should do it, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's give this a shot. I think that we, I think that we should be right in the realm of potential death for this. All right, here we go. Release the, release the thrusters, damn it. Full steam ahead. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're getting some thrusters released. I love it when thrusters get released. Let me tell you boys something. Okay, all right, yes, okay, that, look, can it survive this? Can anything survive this barrage? Looks pretty cool, too. Oh, man, there's three that didn't get fired out. Whose fault is that? Probably mine. Anyway, let's go ahead and follow. It's almost like I tapped those or something like that. Go out of the way. Like I said, boys, spray and pray. Spray and pray. All we need is one to hit. You gotta be kidding me. We, like, nicked. The top over here. Nick the tip. Just the tip. Oh boy. Oh, what have I done? I think we've caused some other havoc though. We got a building coming down from this BS. There she goes. Down to the ground. Oh, we took down another building too. Oh no. What's going on over here? How, how did this building come, come apart? There's just rockets flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> okay, guys, real quick, hold on, I gotta ask you guys something. Are we gonna call that a win? <laughs> Technically, the Bayo Wolf did take down the 135. Um, not directly from the, uh, from the rockets, but in destroying everything around it, quite, quite frankly, everything around it, it managed to knock down a building. Wow. Um, that was, that was sweet. All right, that that was cool. I think that we're gonna have to take a shot at the Beowulf just because of all the destruction. Look at this rocket, it's still firing over here. Just because of all the destruction it's levied. All right, the Beowulf had its day in the sun, but fair's fair, you boys know. 
right about right about there ought to do it. All right, hold on. Let me get let me get this set up real quick, nice and slow, so we can follow it over. Oh, gotta get that bounce out of there. All right, boys, here we go. Disengage the couplers. Fire the missile. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. 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 <laughs> um. Yeah. This is. I gotta tell you, I love this game. Like. <laughs> uh, I love. This is why. This is so random. I love this game. Hold on. Let's try this again. All right. One more time. I gotta do. I gotta do you proud here, man. Here we go. Fire. Fire the. Fire the thruster. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I have it way, way slowed down. I think, or not? That was weird. Fire the. Fire the torpedo. Yay! Crap! All right, boys. Third time's the charm. Is this the third time? I think it is. All right, here we go. Right about like that looks good. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's see here. We got our. Oh God, hold on. Let me get the. Let me get the bounce out of the way. Every once in a while, you gotta watch out for that bounce, man. How come our thing is? Uh, put the parking brake on there. There we go. Okay, good. All right, so let's disengage, disengage, and fire. Yes, that's sweet. That's nice. That's gonna be perfect. Hold on. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. No. No. Wow. Okay. Well. In the realm of direct hits, that is about as direct a hit as you can get. Wow, look at the damage it did to that building. Whoa. And look at the particles on the Beowulf. Sorry, Verdeth. You knew it had to happen though, man. <laughs> Even the rocket launcher back there spinning off into, into I don't know what it's spinning off into. It's, it's spinning though. Are we gonna get a secondary building from this? Oh, it's just barely gonna nick it. It's gonna nick it. And does that count? Did it take it down? Or is that because it's, uh, I think this may be our, uh, our garage. I don't think that you can lose the garage. No, you can't. Wow. That was a hit. Um, oh, there's still pieces flying through the air. Also, look at what happened over here. Look at this. It's doing barrel rolls and stuff. I don't know why. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you some of these really, really cool missile and rocket launchers that are on Brick Rigs right now. Some of these things are really sweet. I love the way some of these things work. They're just so cool. And this thing, definitely my long bomber favorite. You can do just about anything with it. In fact, let's give it a shot. Here we are on the other side of the map, across the train tracks. Now, are we going to hit that building over there? No, 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 no. We're going to hit that building over there or at least I'm gonna give it a shot all right hold on let's let's aim this puppy up right about I think right about now I'm, I'm just kind of I'm eyeballing this guys hold on now I'm kind of eyeballing this right about like that all right man let's give it a go disengage the couplings and fire all right off the rocket goes looking oh wow hold on this may be it this may be the number one score right here can it oh i'm trying to follow it i'm trying to go just fast enough so i can follow it oh you gotta be kidding me oh oh it's gonna be so close it's gonna be close boys look at how far it's come this is the other side of the map <laughs> here we go i hope it doesn't skip it's gotta hit it's gotta hit Come on, blow up. Blow up. Oh, no. Oh, come on. All right, hold on. One more. All right, boys. Last one. Last one. Whether we win, lose, or draw, this is going to be it. I do want to give this one more shot, though. Here we go. All right. Looks pretty good so far. Hold on. Oh, wow. I need to get, I need to get over there quick. Man, thank you, developer, for the alternating speed that you can use here. Oh, this looks... This looks spot on. There it is. Oh, this is it. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Yes! There it is, boys. Other side of the map. That's what I'm talking about. ZIL 135. You are 
pretty cool. I'm going to tell you what. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.